Hi and welcome to this Christmas stocking tutorial. Today we will be using Christmas Hug Stamp by Penny Black, the Decadence Stamp, some All Purpose Inks, some Memento Lux Inks in Tuxedo Black and Love Letter, Spellbinders A2 Filigree Delight, and also the Seam Star Stocking Template, which I've reduced by 50% and cut the pattern out. I then take some calico fabric and pin the stockings onto the fabric. Once this is done, I'm then ready to cut out the fabric. Remove the pins to show my stocking shape. Take some Memento Lux Tuxedo Black ink and apply liberally to the stamp. Press firmly into the fabric and iron set. Use Poppy Red All Purpose Ink. Add a little bit of ink potion number 9. This way you'll be able to get a lighter shade and then use the neat ink to add your shading. I'm colouring in the dress here. So I'm using the lighter colour first and then shading with the undiluted version afterwards. Next take cherry pink and add to the scarf. Use the diluted version for the centre and the undiluted version for the edges. This way you will get a shaded effect. It's pretty hard to see on the video I'm afraid. Now take Peony Purple, add some ink potion number 9 to water down the colour and add to her leggings. Again use the undiluted version to add shading. Now I'm taking Poppy Red, Lemon Yellow and Green Apple and mixing all three colours together to get a brown shade. I'm adding this to her hair and also to the bottom parts of her boots to give the shaded areas. as you can see here. I then dilute it again and colour in the rest of her boots. Add more ink potion number 9 to get a very watery version of the brown. And then I'm just adding this watered down version to areas where I want shade to appear on the polar bear. This is a very subtle colouring, as you can see here. Now I need to do her face, so I'm taking the very watered down brown and a little bit of the pink to create the skin tone. As you can see here. Next I'm adding some cerulean blue with the turquoise gem Versa Magic to get a lighter shade watering it down with some ink potion number 9 and then adding it to add shading to the snow. Now I take four colours and mix them together to get a dark silvery grey and I'm putting those on the pads of the polar bear's feet. As you can see here, once I've finished colouring I then heat set the whole thing by ironing I take the Spellbinders Oval die and cut an oval from Frisk film, which I then apply to the front of my image. Add Poppy Red and Ink Potion number no. 9 to an airbrush and spray onto the stocking. Once you are happy with the coverage, wipe off any excess. Take your Decadence Stamp and Memento Lux ink ink up the stamp and then apply to the stocking. Repeat this until the whole of the stocking is covered. Again remove excess ink from the centre. Remove the mask. 
and then heat set again with the iron. Put both stocking pieces together, pin and then stitch. I use a sewing machine to stitch but you could also stitch by hand. Once you have done this you then want to cut around the little curved bits to make it turn in the right way properly and not bunch up. Turn it in the right way and iron. Next I take some metallic thread from Krienic, create a loop and stitch into place. I then add some polka dot red ribbon around the top to complete my stocking. It's now ready for filling. And here's the finished item. Thank you for watching. For more inspiration, please visit my blog at candronicucardcraft.blogspot.co.uk.